How do you include your overhead and how do you even work it out? Well, the easiest way is to look at what debit orders go off at the end of the month. That normally tells you uh, what your overhead is. It can give you quite a, a good thumb suck figure um, to know where you stand. And your overhead includes things like rent, electricity, uh, travel and transport, fuel costs, communication costs, marketing costs, um, all of those kinds of things uh, that you spend money on inevitably in order to get your product out there. So all of those things need to be listed. Uh, write them all down, everything that you spend money on every month, and make a tally of your total costs of, of running your business. And um, that's the number you're going to work on. It doesn't have to be exactly 100% accurate, but it will give you a, a, a good ballpark figure um, to work on. And if you have an overhead of 20,000 Rand a month, and you're only selling 20 products a month, if you're not charging 1,000 Rand a product, um, then you're running your business at a loss. Um, so it helps to know what your overhead is and relative to the number of products that you're selling so that you can have some sort of an idea um, of where you're running. If you know that you need to sell uh, 100 products at, a, at 100 Rand each um, to make your, your overhead, uh, then it helps you to meet your daily targets, your daily sales targets. Um, and to know whether you're running ahead or behind um, through the course of the month. So go and work out and get back to us with your feedback. Good luck with this week's homework.